In the seventh universe, after the events related to Broly in Dragon Ball Super, months have passed on Earth since then, and planet Earth remained at peace and in deep calm. Meanwhile Goku was bored and had the brilliant idea of visiting Broly to try to communicate more with the legendary Saiyan, maybe train with him or even not have a rematch against the legendary Saiyan. Then Goku uses his teleportation to find Broly. Guys, before continuing this epic story, I left your like to help the channel and of course if you can, I also left a super thank you and help the channel financially and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news now let's go back to the video. On Broly's planet. Goku says, Hello Broly, I hope I wasn't bothering you, but if I am I'll leave, don't worry, said Goku with a small smile on his face. Broly is surprised to see that Goku was there and gets excited, and says, You came. Of course you're not disturbing anything, what did you come here to do? Broly said, Happy to see Goku after so long. Goku said, Look, I'm sorry about the events that happened a few months ago, and I'm sorry for not coming to visit you much, I was a little busy with my training on Mr. Beerus' planet. But anyway, now I'm here, how about we have a friendly arm wrestle, huh? We can measure our strengths a little, how about we start like this? Said Goku with confidence. Broly said, Oh sure, no problem, I know you and Vegeta are not to blame for what my father and I did, but anyway thank you for coming to visit me. Of course, let's arm wrestle then, prepare to be defeated, son Goku. Broly said with a smile. Then both Saiyans begin their arm wrestling putting as much of their strength into their fists, it was possible to see the entire floor of the planet shake and shake with the effort of both in wanting to defeat each other. But unfortunately due to an oversight and for part of Broly's great strength, Goku ends up losing the dispute. Goku was really surprised, as he didn't expect that he would lose so quickly, but Goku accepted the defeat with a smile on his face. Goku said, Wow, Broly, you really are very strong without even using your powers, you have surreal physical strength, you didn't even need to use your transformations to defeat me, you really are an opponent who has no limits, said Goku, being amazed by Broly's strength. Broly smiling said, there's no need to exaggerate, but I can say that you have better experience and combat style than mine, I think you could probably beat me with just that. Well, when you want to have a friendly fight I'll be here to try help with this part. Broly said happily. Goku smiles excitedly and says, you can leave it, don't worry. I will train and improve my strengths and I will beat you Broly. I will beat him, you can keep my words because they will become true, said Goku, leaving Broly excited. Broly then responds, I will be waiting for you anxiously. After all, not giving up is something that comes from our race. It is not? Goku then says, you are right Broly, and from what I could see in you was that in a few months, in addition to getting stronger, you also got smarter. Something I couldn't do, believe me, said Goku laughing a lot next to Broly. After this great visit from Goku, the Saiyan decides to say goodbye to Broly. Goku had returned to planet Earth with his teleportation and soon went to communicate with Vegeta about the great advance in strength that Broly had obtained in a short time. Goku was excited, as he wanted to fight Broly as quickly as possible, but first he wanted to call Vegeta to fight with him, as Broly is a great fighting machine who manages to evolve with each passing second. On planet Earth, Goku said, so Vegeta, Broly and I decided to arm wrestle, but the strangest thing is that a few seconds had passed and Broly had already taken my arm to the ground without much effort, despite him being in his base form. He is very strong. I can say that he can be stronger than both of us combined. Goku said excitedly. Vegeta said, stronger than the two of us together? Don't talk nonsense, Kakarado. If we use our powers to the fullest, we can probably beat him in battle without much difficulty. Remember that even though he has indescribable strength, we are still stronger than him. I'm the prince of the Saiyans, I can't lose to anyone, Vegeta said proudly. With the conversation between the two Saiyans, Whis ends up arriving on planet Earth with Beerus. Whis soon went to where Goku and Vegeta were talking without much delay, and seeing that the topic of conversation between the two was about Broly, Whis decided to participate in the conversation. Whis said, well, so you guys are thinking about fighting warrior Broly again, right? I very much doubt they will be able to maintain a balanced fight, Broly's power was something notable even for Mr. Beerus who praised him for his level of power. You both will have to train a lot to reach a new level. Whis said with a smile. Goku said, damn, is this serious? Even Mr. Beerus recognized him? 
Well, it's really not easy to beat Broly. I admit that in my current state I would probably lose to him in a not very difficult way. Broly himself is an anomaly. Vegeta said, hmm, nothing much. I can get stronger and stronger. I, the prince of the Saiyans, will not give up that easily. I have to find a method to get stronger. Whis said, well, do you want to know if there really is a method to match or even surpass Broly? Well, remember the enormous power that Broly demonstrated after seeing his father being eliminated by Frieza? Well, you too will have to reach that level of power in no time if you want to truly catch up to Broly, spoke Whis, trying to help Goku and Vegeta in their respective training. Goku said, so, we'll have to reach Broly's power level, is that it? The legendary Super Saiyan guy? The big problem itself is how we can achieve this power, we have already done all the possible training regarding Saiyan transformations, it really is a somewhat complicated task to carry out. Goku said apparently without hope until Whis let out a light laugh and left the two Saiyans confused. Vegeta asked, what do you know Whis and didn't tell us? Vegeta asked, intrigued. Whis sighs and then says, there is an ancient method, an ancient type of training where it is possible to awaken this transformation through unnatural means and still be able to gain more power. You will have to put the Ozaro form from the outside and if you are really willing, you will have to return to your primitive instincts. The true face of the Saiyan race, Whis said, smiling mischievously while both warriors looked at each other, thinking about it. Vegeta says, what are the risks of this? It's clear that power like this isn't easily gained, don't hide anything from me, speak soon. Whis with a serious look said, good score, Mr. Vegeta. Yes, there are risks, as I said, from the primitive side of the Saiyan race. The Ozaro transformation is capable of returning to his animal instinct and never being able to return to his normal appearance, in addition to losing his memory and consciousness for all eternity. But it's a small risk, but it can happen. Whis explained, leaving Vegeta irritated. Vegeta said, keep me away from this story, not even Kakarado is crazy to risk his sanity for this. Goku says, I accept. If you are going to get stronger, it is a risk that must be accepted. After all, there are always risks, said Goku smiling, impressing Whis, but Vegeta soon became filled with hatred. Vegeta says, miserable, since Kakarado is going to take a risk, I won't be left behind, I accept it too. Whis smiles and says, great boys, then follow me, to start training we will go to the planet of the Ozaros a thousand years ago, said Whis, leaving Vegeta and Goku impressed, on Planeta Ozaru a thousand years ago. After Whis related explanation of how Goku and Vegeta will achieve the perfect Ozaru transformation, Whis ends up taking them to a completely unknown planet that was imperceptible even to the Scions who lived on planet Vegeta. The planet was in a very finished state, looking like nothing had lived in that place for a long time, and although Goku and Vegeta had just arrived on the planet, it was noticeable how much the Scions were surprised by the place. Vegeta said, that's strange, I don't remember anything related to a planet called Planet Ozaru, not even my father, who was the king of planet Vegeta at the time, told me anything about it. But even so, this planet is familiar, said Vegeta, who was in disbelief with the planet. Goku said, this place is also very familiar to me, even though I grew up on the land, I can't stop having this strange feeling inside me, it's really something very strange. Whis, who was accompanied by the two, just watched the two scions without saying many words, he wanted to see their reaction when they saw more about this planet Ozaru. Goku and Vegeta still continued walking and exploring the planet that was practically lifeless, and when they least expected it, the two ended up feeling extremely powerful energies that were very close to them. And then, Goku and Vegeta are surprised by the arrival of several Oazarus, it was possible to see how developed these Oazarus were, as they had a larger stature and also a more mature appearance. Goku said, damn, Vegeta, are these giant apes like this without a full moon? It's strange, because this planet doesn't even have a moon, so how did they achieve this transformation? Said Goku with his enormous doubt. Vegeta said, yes, you're right, Kakarado. This transformation is only possible with a tail and the help of the moon, but do you remember the tactic I used in our first battle? I could transform into an Oozuru just by using my own energy sphere, that way I could create a fake moon. Well, anyway, it's very strange that these scions still remain in their Oozuru forms, from the looks of it they've been like that for a long time. 
Vegeta said thoughtfully. Whis, who was just watching the two, finally decided to butt in on the conversation. Whis reveals that those scions are very primitive scions from a thousand years ago, a time when there were no kings or social status, only the strongest survived so the weakest were eliminated, which is why they remained in this transformation. Goku said, I see, so they got stuck in these transformations, huh? Well, from the looks of them, they must be very strong, right, Vegeta? What do you think? Let's fight them, so we can see the level of the scions of the past. Don't tell me you're not curious, said Goku, trying to convince Vegeta at all costs. Vegeta said, not at all, Kakarado. I don't know if you've forgotten or you're just acting naive, but these transformations are extremely weak compared to our current powers. Even though Vegeta doesn't want to start a battle against the Oazarus, he is surprised when an extremely fast energy attack goes towards Vegeta who defends the attack with great difficulty. The prince is almost swallowed completely by the energy ball. Goku, who was just watching the scene, is surprised by a huge fast punch from an angry Ozuru, but the Scion defends the monster's attack with great difficulty, and seeing that he was having difficulty against the Ozuru, the Scion raises his key and transforms in Super Scion 2, and even though he used this transformation, the most Goku could do was move away. Goku said, what the hell? I'm going to have to raise the level a little more, I have no choice, said Goku, who soon after raised his key and reached his Super Saiyan God form. Goku counterattacks with an extremely powerful kick at Ozuru, to the point where the monster suffers a little damage. In the situation of the Prince of the Scions, Vegeta totally lost his patience and decided to activate his Super Scion Blue transformation, going towards Ozuru and throwing several quick punches and kicks. However, Ozuru only received the attacks, and at the moment unexpected Vegeta is caught by Ozuru and thrown far into the ground. Vegeta gets up but realized that these Oazarus were different from the others of his era, they were extremely strong. Goku, who was facing one of the Oazarus, was having difficulty maintaining a fight with the Ozuru, because with each attack that Goku launched, the Ozuru received he imitated the same attack that Goku was making. Goku thought, something is wrong, even though they are beings devoid of consciousness, they are still capable of copying movements and replicating them in the best possible way. They are even able to use them at a power slightly lower or similar to mine. It's like he's adapting completely to my style, said Goku, surprised and thoughtful. Then Vegeta, seeing that he would have no other alternative than to use his final flash, Vegeta soon prepares his attack, depositing his maximum energy into it. Lightning began to appear and the planet began to shake completely, and Vegeta, with his attack finally ready, launched his most powerful attack towards the Ozuru, opening a large smoke screen around everything. Vegeta said, what do you think of this? You couldn't dodge this time, I bet you're almost in pieces, Vegeta said, laughing and very excited. However, Vegeta's attempt was completely broken by the damage caused to Ozuru. Even though he suffered Vegeta's most powerful attack, Ozuru just got up as if nothing had happened. Vegeta was in disbelief as nothing seemed to work. Whis, who was just watching, decides to trap the Ozarus in an extremely resistant barrier and, finally, he decides to explain the purpose of Goku's training and vegetates in that place. Whis reveals that the only way for both of them to achieve the same power as Broly is to have a tail, however they no longer had a tail, but it was possible to get around this, you can embrace your wild and primitive side, just like these ancient scions they did. They gave their souls completely to hatred and anger, leaving absolutely nothing behind, and that is what you must do. Vegeta said, I see, embracing the primitive side, huh? When we, scions, transform, we can assume consciousness and even communicate with other people, but these Oazarus have an extreme irrationality, it is something completely unique. Vegeta said seriously. Goku said, these Oazarus are truly monsters, not even Super Saiyan Blue is capable of stopping them, they can simply adapt to the opponent's style quickly and effectively without even being aware of it, they are true walking monsters. Goku said excitedly about this situation. Wiz said, well, I recommend that you start training now, otherwise you will never surpass Broly. Well, I wish you both good luck, I'll just sit here and watch, I hope you make it. Wiz said with a small smile on his face. And then Goku and Vegeta begin to close their eyes, 
they concentrate as much as they can and, over time, they come into contact with their emotions and their scion side. Although they both wanted to become stronger, in practice this was much more difficult, as it was not easy to simply give in to hatred and anger, especially for Goku. But as the meditation progressed they were able to see a small gap at the end of their memories, and then they discovered that it was the sleeping scion spirit. They finally gave in their hearts to hatred and anger, but even though they did, they knew they could come back soon, as the two were known for not giving up even in a practically impossible situation. After a short silence, it was possible to see Goku and Vegeta shaking their bodies, their height had increased and their muscle mass was a little bigger, in addition to their aura of being completely surrounded by a bright and wild green. Their hair was more spiky and aggressive due to the great aura surrounding them, and with that their transformation was finally complete, they had finally reached the legendary Super Scion, however, they both began to face each other, which intrigued one little Whis, but he just watches again and sees that Goku and Vegeta were getting closer and closer to each other, as if they saw each other as natural prey. On Planeta Oazaro a thousand years ago, after Goku and Vegeta transformed into legendary Super Saiyans, where their hair turned green, the two Saiyans stared at each other. Whis just observed what the result of this fight would be to measure Goku and Vegeta's power a little. After all, Whis knew there was a transformation above the legendary Super Saiyan and was eager to see how far Goku and Vegeta had come. Then the fight between the two begins, with Goku attacking Vegeta, trying to hit him with quick and consecutive kicks and punches, but Vegeta continued to defend them with his arms and decided to counterattack with a huge headbutt against Goku. Vegeta said, Kakarado, I will win, I am definitely the strongest. I expected more from you and your increase in power, said Vegeta arrogantly. Goku said, get ready, I'm going to show my true power. Get ready, Vegeta. Goku said excitedly. Then the two began to punch each other quickly to the point that several gusts of wind were exhaled with each collision of blows between the two. Both fought using their respective best combat techniques, but this collision of blows ends when Vegeta moves away and launches his powerful final flash, and as time passes, Vegeta's attack becomes stronger and stronger. But Goku soon prepares his Kamehameha, but now Goku was putting a lot of his strength into this Kamehameha, causing a huge gust of wind and destruction along the way, with an explosion of smoke, but when the smoke dissipated Vegeta remained unharmed, Goku began to get up his ki out of control, Goku then managed to grab Vegeta's hands and throw him to the ground with great force, Vegeta then gets up from the ground and gives a powerful kick to Goku's face that sends him flying for a few meters, and soon after Vegeta bombards Goku with several consecutive energy spheres that cause immense damage to the Saiyan. Even so, the fight was even, as both Goku and Vegeta were adapting to the legendary Super Saiyan transformation, but at one point or another one of them would succumb to complete fatigue. Goku said, Vegeta, this transformation is really incredible, but I believe we can go further because I can communicate with you, this wasn't supposed to be normal, right? Vegeta, will we be able to defeat Broly with this power? With this transformation I feel a great anger inside me as if everything around me was going to explode, it's a gigantic power, but I believe it's not enough to overcome Broly. Vegeta said, yes, Kakarado, we need more power and this primitive and strong sensation, I feel like it is completely dominating me, but still, I want to keep fighting against you, that's strange. Vegeta said trying to provoke Goku. Upon hearing this, Goku immediately heads towards Vegeta and launches several huge blasts of ki at Vegeta, who defends them with one hand. Vegeta takes the chance and then gives Goku a tremendous headbutt that makes the Saiyan's body tremble. Whis, who was just watching the fight, had a serious expression on his face, and seeing that this fight was going nowhere, he decided to save the two Saiyans and prevent them from continuing to fight in an endless battle. As instinct and primitive transformation of the legendary Super Saiyan would only stop when one of them died. Whis hits the two Saiyans in the head with his staff and they regain consciousness, returning to normal. Even though they are a little weak thanks to the battle that just happened, Whis solves this problem by healing them both. Goku said, Mr. Whis, so this is how you get the legendary Super Saiyan, right? I think I understand, 
We must accept our primitive side completely and let anger and hatred invade your body completely. It is an innovative and very difficult training method. It really is something challenging, but what's this is the most can we achieve? Goku said excitedly and at the same time curious. Vegeta said, damn, I always knew that it was unreliable to do a type of training like that. Especially in these circumstances, this transformation greatly disrupts a person's sanity, which can be harmful in a fight. It's not a transformation reliable to use in battle. Wiz said, in certain words, you are both right. However, to solve the problem of lack of sanity it is quite simple. You just need to train your mind and your body, as this is not the final transformation. There is one more stage and for you to reach at this level you will be able to control your emotions, which will actually be very useful in the battle against Broly, as he cannot control his legendary Super Saiyan transformation. Wiz spoke, explaining the great importance of maintaining this transformation. Goku said, damn, in that case, I think we'd better train even more, Vegeta. We are going to use this transformation here on this planet. We have to get used to this power as soon as possible so that we can raise our level and fight an equal battle against Broly, and if we don't do this, we will lose badly in the battle against Broly. Although Broly cannot control his emotions during his transformation, he is still very powerful. Soon after this conversation, Goku and Vegeta return to fighting each other and activate the legendary Super Saiyan transformation. Goku raises his hands up and gathers a large amount of energy and throws it at Vegeta. But Vegeta is faster and kicks the energy ball that ends up being able to ricochet it, sending it flying into space. Goku just saw that with admiration, and without expecting much Goku started exchanging punches, kicks, at Vegeta that hurt him in the process. After that Goku and Vegeta decide to get closer quickly, Goku soon tries to knee Vegeta in the stomach which he manages to land with critical damage, causing Vegeta to vomit a small amount of saliva. After a brief exchange of punches, the real exchange of punches was now beginning without any rest for the Saiyans. Goku lands a blow on Vegeta's face which makes him move away a little but Vegeta trips Goku which makes him lose his support a little and fall to the ground, however the Saiyan puts his hand on the ground and attacks Vegeta with a kick. Goku quickly advances and delivers a strong punch to Vegeta's stomach, followed by a series of key blasts. Goku, who wanted to finish the battle, just headbutt Vegeta again, making him stunned again for a few seconds. At the moment Vegeta was unconscious, Whis again stopped the two from continuing to fight and fully healed them. Whis reveals that their real training would begin now and they would have to return to the present and visit Broly's planet, so that Goku and Vegeta can have the long-awaited fight with the Saiyan from Planet Vampa. Whis said, good boys, now that the first phase is ready, you will have to show everything you learned here in the battle against Broly, and I have to point out to you that there is one more transformation above the legendary Super Saiyan. This transformation is called Oazaro Perfect and I believe that you two only managed to reach this level by fighting against Broly himself. Everything you had to learn here on planet Oazaro has already been absorbed by you, let's leave this planet and return. To the present, as you well know, I had to use my powers to go back in time millions of years ago, but I managed to do it in a sneaky way. Well, with that said, let's go. Wiz said, explaining the end of the training before hitting his staff on the ground for them to return to the present and the Saiyan began to speak. Goku said, damn I was right I felt like we could get stronger, well, anyway I feel a lot stronger, but I can still get more powerful, Broly I'm coming. Vegeta said, Kakarot. I'm also stronger, I can defeat that Saiyan Broly once and for all, Vegeta said, showing a happy and arrogant smile. With everything ready, Whis took his staff and hit it on the ground, thus returning to the present period in time, now Goku and Vegeta were prepared to face Broly. On planet Earth, Whis said, great, now that you're finally ready I'm going to take you two to Broly's planet, the rest will be up to you, understand? Goku said, right, Whis. I'm confident, now that I've increased my power, I feel capable of having a good battle against Broly. Not only that, but I'm sure I can evolve more and more with this power. Goku spoke with great enthusiasm while jumping with joy. Vegeta said, what a waste of time, Kakarado. We can't delay any longer. This rigorous and unbearable training we did took a long time. Let's go to Broly's planet.
guys. Before continuing this epic story, leave your like and of course, if you want to help the channel even more leave your super thanks and help the channel financially, and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new. What said? Well, we can go now. Stay by my side. Don't leave my side, okay? Wiz said with a small smile. Now that everyone was ready, Wiz quickly teleported to the planet Vampa, and there was Broly, who was already waiting for the two Saiyans, as if he was having a feeling that he was going to face them. Goku and Vegeta, who had just arrived, quickly looked at Broly with an air of defiance and determination, and of course, Broly felt the same. Wiz, who was just looking, decided to make a signal to Goku and Vegeta saying that he would leave that place, and so he did, Wiz quickly teleported without leaving any trace, just wishing good luck and a good battle for the two Saiyans. Goku said, Broly, apparently you had already sensed that we would arrive, right? You really are very insightful, I expected nothing less. Broly said, thank you very much for your compliment. But I'm not that advanced, it turns out that Chi Lai has some knowledge about Ki, so she decided to teach me during these days. By the way, Goku, I noticed that you look very different from the last time I saw you. Your aura emanates something bigger, it may seem strange, but I feel similar to you at this exact moment. Vegeta said, this is because of our training that we carried out which had the purpose of achieving a power similar to yours, an immense, monstrous and savage power that you showed in our previous battle, although I hate to admit it. Kakarot and I decided following a training method explained by Whis that makes it possible to have the same power as you or even greater power now Kakarado, and I can activate the legendary form of the Super Saiyan. Broly said, now I understand. You faced such difficult training to reach a level similar to mine. Your effort is clear. I really admire that about you too. Now that I know what you went through, I want to witness up close the power you gained. Come with everything. You too can come with everything. Broly said looking at Goku and Vegeta. When Broly announced these words, Goku and Vegeta instantly went towards him with extreme speed. Both were already surrounding Broly and throwing several punches and kicks at the legendary Saiyan but Broly defended himself with his two hands and knees. Then Broly decides to attack too and prepares a key blast and aims it at Vegeta's stomach. Meanwhile Broly delivers a large and powerful punch to Goku's face, thus sending the two Saiyans who received different blows away. Goku and Vegeta still remained somewhat unharmed, but the two were starting to perk up, which led to them transforming into the peak of their forms until then, Goku and Vegeta activated the legendary Super Saiyan. Broly said, amazing, this is incredible, you two can really transform into legendary Super Saiyans like me. Broly said, looking at Goku and Vegeta who emanated a large amount of power. Goku and Vegeta went towards Broly with focused looks and ready to attack. Goku already started preparing a Super Kamehameha with a teleportation and Vegeta made several blasts with the energy of destruction, the Hakai, the attacks focused on Broly, and barely, the legendary Saiyan managed to dodge these attacks with his high speed. Broly, despite not having suffered any serious damage, was feeling pressured until he decided to increase his powers and transformed into the legendary Super Saiyan with his green hair. Something that ended up completely changing the course of the fight as Broly had appeared in the in front of Goku and Vegeta, and he delivered a knee to Goku's stomach and a big elbow to Vegeta's right arm, which made them fall a little far away. Broly said, the fight was getting interesting, but is this the most they can do with the transformation of the legendary Super Saiyan? Your current powers are not enough to stop me, you know this information very well, but still, why do you insist on facing me using these powers? Said Broly, who felt a little frustrated. Goku thought, Broly is really right, we can't beat him even if we have the same transformation, but I remember Wiss words where he said that Vegeta and I can surpass the limits of the legendary Super Saiyan so I hope it's true, said Goku thoughtfully and scared. After these thoughts, Goku and Vegeta teleported behind Broly, however the legendary Saiyan only increased his aura which hindered Goku and Vegeta from executing their attacks, and Broly taking advantage of the distraction he had created, Broly quickly headbutts Vegeta, which leaves him dizzy and sends him flying into a rubble of rocks. Goku, who was surprised by Broly's sudden increase in strength. Vegeta finally decides to get out of the rubble, Vegeta and Goku end up reuniting together again, and seeing that the situation was not easy for them, they remember the training they had on the planet Oazaro, 
and with words then two cyans begin to bring their instincts more primitive. Planet Vampo was starting to shake, a large landscape covered in lightning and a cloudy sky surrounded by thunder along with a gigantic amount of key that made the air pressure heavy. The entire planet was shaking, but what shook the most was Broly's body, who was eager to meet and battle the two new forms of the Saiyans. Goku and Vegeta were totally different. They no longer had a human appearance, but rather the structure of a humanoid white monkey and their body was completely defined, with red eyes and full of anger wanting more fight. Broly said, Amazing. I feel a great energy. You really didn't exaggerate with your new powers. In that case, I'll do my best too. Broly said, increasing his powers more and more until he reached his maximum. The tone of the environment had changed. Goku and Vegeta, who were just watching Broly's power grow more and more, just stood idly by and witnessed his growth, without showing any kind of reaction. And then finally, Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, was using his power to the fullest, which was the peak of his strength. Broly then went towards the two Saiyans with the intention of attacking them with absurd strength and brutality, but it was then that Broly was surprised for the first time, Goku and Vegeta easily dodged, as if that attack had been absolutely nothing. It was as if Goku and Vegeta's Oazaro transformation had its own perfect ultra instinct, and Broly, realizing this, tried tirelessly to land a definitive blow on Goku and Vegeta, and he continued without rest until he could land a blow. But it was useless, Goku and Vegeta decide to stop playing and the two launch a blow together, Broly ends up being quickly knocked out on the ground, without even fighting back. And then the fight was over, Goku and Vegeta, who were on a new level, and managed to defeat a more powerful rival and friend once again. With the end of the battle, the climate on Planet Vampa returned to normal and, quickly, Goku and Vegeta returned to their base form and began to care for Broly's injuries, which despite being few, were quite serious. Broly was already awake, and seeing that Goku and Vegeta were unharmed, he gives a small smile and assumes that they defeated him easily. The three start to laugh and, after relaxing a little with that special moment, Broly said, Yes, I really have a lot to learn from you too. You are definitely the strongest in the universe. Thank you, Goku and Vegeta for the fight. Broly said excitedly and with a little pain. Guys, this is how we end today's story. If you made it to the end comments, perfect Uzaru. I want to see who made it to the end and of course leave your like and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos like this. Bye.